And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to give you yet another tip on using the eraser tool. It's not really the eraser tool that we're using, but in a previous video I've given you an alternative to the eraser tool. So when you want to cut out straight lines from objects, let me just copy the circle, press Ctrl D and I use this line which is created via the rectangle tool. And I want to perform a cutout, so cut a straight line out of the circle. For that to be possible, the line needs to be on top of the circle, select both them path and difference. So that is the method that I've shown you. But there's an issue when you want to perform this method on groups. So let me show you this. It doesn't work right here, or it doesn't give us the result that we want. If I hold shift and I click on the two elements, so the rectangle and the circle, then I press Ctrl G, I can group it. And if I now select the line and this group, once again, path and difference, we have no effect at all. So when you want to perform this straight line cutout, on a specific design that's more complex, has more elements, you'll have to do it a little bit different. But the exact method that you should use depends on the design that you have. So one way to get around it, it's not perfect, but you can select them both. So hold shift, click on them, then path and union. And now use the line and use path difference. Afterwards, you can break it apart and then recolor it. As I said, it's not the perfect solution. You can see why on the circle below. So you can't really break that apart anymore. For most designs, that's not the method to use, but for some that might work, you can try it. Let me press Ctrl Z. And now if I just perform the cutout regularly right here on this rectangle, you can see that it works. So why not just copy the line, press Ctrl D and then perform this cutout two times. So once for the rectangle and once for the circle. So here's our rectangle cut out and we have our second line and now we'll use it via path and difference on the circle. So that method should work for almost any design. Depending on how complex it is, you just need more lines to perform this cut out multiple times. I hope this video helps you. If not, let me know more about the details of your problem in the comment section below. In any case, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.